Last week, I went back to the Greenford branch in West London. This time, I was there at the invitation of Great Western Railway to have a look at their new experimental train. This is the Class 230, which they are currently testing on the branch. What makes this train special is that it's battery-powered. Battery-powered trains are not a new concept. This one was built in 1917, for instance. But battery technology has come on a long way, and the latest innovations could potentially revolutionise branch lines all over the world. The problem, historically, is that electrification is a desirable thing for railways. Electric trains are less polluting, not totally non-polluting, as we'll discuss later. However, they are also quieter, cleaner and smoother than alternatives. But installing electrical infrastructure is expensive and complicated. Trains pick up power from a third rail or overhead wires, both of which pose safety risks, require a lot of maintenance, and are vulnerable to weather conditions. For branch lines that see relatively low passenger numbers, the overall cost is prohibitive. Yet, as we see time and time again, investing in rail to provide a better service attracts passengers. The big technical advance that GWR are excited about is fast charge, which is exactly what it sounds like. At the end of the line you have a charging station. This is a short length of third rail. The train automatically lowers a pickup shoe and charges up. Fast. In as little as four minutes it will have enough charge for its next trip up and down the line. As you might imagine, that much power in one go is quite a draw, so the charging point is actually powered from a bank of batteries, which are themselves charged off the national grid. This means that the draw off the grid is constant even if the charge takes a lot of power. The batteries, both here and on the train, require a lot of cooling, as you might imagine. This is a project that's been in the works for quite some years. If the train looks familiar, that's because it used to be a D78 district line train that's been totally refurbished. Which raises the very real possibility that I have actually ridden on this train before. The concept was in development with Viva Rail, the company led by the late Adrian Shooter. Unfortunately, the company ran into financial trouble and entered administration in December 2022. At this time, the project was well advanced, and so the concept was bought out by GWR. Why GWR? Well, they have a lot of non-electrified branch lines where this kind of technology would be ideal. Assuming tests are successful, it could be a very worthwhile investment, both for their own lines and in selling the technology elsewhere. The aim is to eliminate diesel traction from the National Rail Network by 2040. The advantages of this system are obvious. It's cheap electrification with little infrastructure. It's also a lot safer than conventional electrification. The charging rail is only live when a train is in contact with it. Battery power is not the perfect solution to everything, of course. Generating electricity is going to create pollution for as long as we're still burning fossil fuels, even if it's not at the point of use. Mining lithium for batteries causes pollution in itself, especially with some of the dodgier operations. However, a train offers fewer drawbacks in this regard than a car, as it is a far more energy-efficient mode of transport. So I would say the technology is definitely worth developing. All this is theory. What are the trains like in practice? Well, they run smoothly. They aren't totally silent. I'd say they make about the same amount of noise as a tube train, which is of course appropriate. The carriages have had their ends opened up to form gangways, increasing the amount of space inside. There is also wheelchair space. I would say in general that the layout of the carriage makes them suitable for branch line traffic, not really so much for heavy commuter traffic. However, I would also argue that fast charge technology isn't really intended for that kind of work. On the whole, I think this is a really interesting development that I'm in favour of. It has the obvious advantages that I mentioned earlier. The government is not really much in favour of third rail electrification, so this offers a compromise. And here's a controversial suggestion that comes from me alone. A lot of heritage railways have electric trains that they can't operate. Could battery power be the solution? I'm just putting that out there. The current Great Western Railway sees itself as the heir to the historic Great Western Railway. The historic Great Western Railway was well known for its innovations on branch lines, so in this regard, fast-charge technology is a definite continuation of that. 
Would Brunel approve? Well, who knows? But I'll be interested to see the outcome of the current test runs, and here's hoping it offers the potential to improve the network for all. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please do leave a like and consider subscribing for more. I would like to thank my donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your support. You are the charging rail to my battery. I would also like to thank GWR for inviting me along to their event and making this video possible. And I will see you all again very soon. Cheerio.